Hello, welcome back to Ignition Tube. I'm Eli, and if you're new to the channel, you're wondering why this is not an E46 M3. And if you're not new to the channel and you haven't checked out the E46 M3 videos, you should definitely go check those out. But for those who don't know about this car, this is my 2016 Audi S6. It is my absolute baby. It is my dream car, my favorite car I've ever owned, um, and it has my heart. Now, last weekend, I tackled front brakes on this, and I told Instagram I was gonna film it. By the way, if you're not following on Instagram, it's at IgnitionTubeYT, but I told Instagram I was gonna film it, and then the first bolt that I got to, I needed to go to Harbor Freight to buy an extension that I didn't have. I got so frustrated with doing the job that I ended up not filming, which is good, because it would have been a lot of cursing. But I'm feeling much more brave today. We've got the rear electronic parking brake already retracted. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how easy and wonderful and sunshine and rainbows it is to do brakes on a 2016 Audi S6. There we go. Without it. Yeah, baby. Look at me. I'm I'm just PPE king. Alright. Sneak this up in here. We should have no issues. These should just slide right in unless they're not the right ones. But they are. So that one was kind of supposed to be a joke until it went really smoothly. I was expecting to run into difficulties and then talk about them on this side. Really went pretty straightforward except for this moment. Oh, that's the brake line. Everyone else in the world has luck with these taking their wheel bolts off. It has never worked for me to take wheel bolts off. And it's not like I'm going crazy with a torque or whatever. They've just never worked for me. So I just bring the big dog out. Takes them right off. A lot of people rave about this little one. I like really haven't found a place that it's useful yet other than maybe taking off the rotor set screws. Everything else I can either fit this in or that doesn't have enough torque for. We talked in the past about finding a low dust solution for this car. That was my goal because as you can see these wheels are I mean, even the rears are just coated in gunk. It doesn't help that I haven't washed the car in a hot second because it's winter, but I think I found a solution. And that solution actually is bought through FCP Euro, which if you guys don't know, I work there, but if you also didn't know, FCP Euro has a lifetime replacement guarantee on everything we sell. Now, what is a lifetime replacement guarantee, you ask? Uh, if you didn't know, I left my vice grips on the other side, hang on. You buy it, you use it, you wear it out, you buy the replacement, you send the old one back and they issue you, or we issue you, a refund on the product that you purchased. So, uh, brakes for example, you use your rotors for 40,000 miles, um, they have a lip on them, the pads are smoked, you order replacements, put the replacements on, ship the old brakes back and we'll issue you a refund for the cost of all of that brake stuff. So you're essentially getting a second brake kit for the cost of return shipping. And you can do that over and over for the lifetime that you own the car. That's the only kind of caveat is that you must own the car. You can't pass it along to someone else. So I ordered Zimmerman rotors and I ordered EBC Red Stuff, which is a ceramic pad compound from what I understand um, that is very, very low dust, kind of like an Acubono, but the Acubono stuff was back ordered for the car. So uh, I went with the EBC. I also don't think Acubono makes something for the front brakes on this. I think they only make it for the rear brake because I think this is shared with the A6. Uh, I'm very excited to see the results. So far, I have them on the front. I've been driving with them for a week with smoked rear pads, so I'd imagine they're doing most of the work. Um, seems great, and the wheels don't seem any dustier. The only problem is the wheels are really dusty to begin with, so I'm gonna have to clean everything up after I do this today, and I will update you guys on Instagram how it's going in maybe like a month or so. Where are you? I cannot see you. That's because the pads are so smoked that we've gotten to the wear sensor. The rear brakes are really straightforward. You put a vice grips or whatever you want on this little plastic piece here, and it holds that so you can start loosening the bolt at the back. Um, the bolt isn't on with that much tension. That's what was really difficult with the fronts. 
was that you have to undo the actual uh, caliper bracket and those bolts are held on with an obscene amount of torque. Um, my impact was struggling with them and I, I really was angry with that. But these ones, you should just be able to yank loose like that. And then I'm just getting in there with the smaller one because it's easier to crank with. There we go, push in and pull out. Yep, easy as that. Uh, this is the brake wear sensor. I have this turned off in VAGCOM. It was really straightforward to do. Uh, so I think I'm gonna end up, actually this just popped right out, huh? I'm gonna end up cutting these wires and electrical taping them so no water gets in, but this sensor is no longer active. You know, the other side came right off. And now that I'm actually filming and talking, this side doesn't want to. I think I have it jacked up at an angle. There we go. And I really don't care about these rotors or these pads because I'm not reusing either one of them, so screwdriver on them. All right. This is the only place where I found this thing to be useful. This little guy. Would help if you go the right direction. This is the most satisfying part of the fronts because I got to take my anger out. I just slid it in there, gave it a second, and then I smacked it again. Where did I put my hammer? There we go. Let me just slide it out underneath this guy and get rid of it. Before you start this, you need to retract the uh, e-brake piston in here, uh, which you can do through VAGCOM or through OBD-11 or anything like that. Um, and I also wanna say that none of the tools that I'm using on this job are obscenely expensive. Like these wire brushes are from Amazon, my uh, piston retractor is from Amazon, um, but none of this stuff is super expensive and a brake job, aside from bolts being a pain in the butt, is actually a pretty straightforward job to start DIYs with. So uh, if you have a buddy who needs brakes, like do the job with them, let them learn. Oh, we're throwing sparks. Oh, baby. This is automotive, prime automotive content here. Hang on, let me, let me put the dramatic lighting on it. Yeah, baby. Set screw, turn this down. Make sure it's going the right direction. Don't tighten your set screws super tight. You'll screw yourself in the long run. Or it should. Make sure you put your pad on the right way. What are you doing, changing your brakes again? I didn't get the rears done before. I didn't know I thought you did all No, I didn't. Then this should slide right back on here. I said this should slide right back on here. Oh, it's these that are popped up. Ta-da! Basically done. What's up? All right, here's the verdict. It was a little gunky outside, so we got some like road grime, but I don't think that's brake dust. I think that's just road grime. I'm gonna check the fronts. Lighting is not ideal, but uh, it's been raining and whatever. Yeah, this is like road gunk at best. Look, there's like basically no dust on there. We've probably driven about 150 miles or so. I mean, the brake calipers are basically clean. So I would go ahead and say that these pads are where it's at. They don't make any noise. Uh, the bed in process is just drive them. And I mean, even in the bed in part where I imagine we're wearing off more kind of protective pad material, this is like road grime from it being rainy and, and tossing gunk up. I mean, that's definitely not brake dust. So uh, I'm a fan. I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram and in a future video, but man, that is a, that is a great result right there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll leave a link to this brake kit down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.